Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin and it is the end of 2017. I cannot believe how quickly this year went. I swear, every single year seems to go by faster. But you know, with every year I feel I keep improving in art. It probably helps a lot that I have this YouTube channel and I'm constantly having to create and make new art and new content for you guys. So one tradition that I want to keep present on this channel and do every single year is an art redraw. So at the end of every year, I pick an old piece of artwork to redraw to show kind of the compare and contrast of like where I was a couple years ago to where I am now. But today we are going really far back. Today, I have some artwork from as early as 2002. I was 10, I was really, really young, but my parents found this giant envelope of art. One of my old, old art portfolios. And we are gonna dive in and see what we can find in here. So excuse the uh, paper crumples. My mic is like right here. But you know, let's go ahead and jump in and see what beautiful pieces of art we can find today. Oh my God. All right. To start off, this one is from 2002. Uh, looks like November of 2002. And even back then, I sucked at perspective. <laughs> so this one, like, this little baseball used to like come out like a little pop out thing. Oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> oh my God, all right. So fun fact, when I was younger, there was a teacher that called me um, the dragon lady because literally that's all I drew was dragons. And I mean, it still carries over to today, but I would draw dragons on anything I could. Like this one, I think we were supposed to see stars through, but I was like, put a dragon on it. <laughs> so it's like an old piece of cardboard with like this Charmander, Charmeleon looking thing. I don't know, it's pretty cool. So there's that, um, let's see, oh man. And then anytime I had to like present pictures of my family or pictures of anything, you know, there was always dragons. So this, I think this was supposed to be like a stamp. It doesn't have a date on it, but oh my God, yes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is amazing. This is me and my mom. And then that's me and my little brother when he was in hockey. And then it's hiding behind here. But that's my dad and my brother when he was little. And this was supposed to be like a stamp because it has like 35 cents in the corner. But yeah, fuck it, put a dragon on it. <laughs> Oh, another fun fact. Still something I struggle with. Hands. I can't draw hands for shit. <laughs> when is this from? Oh my God, this is elementary school, but I don't think it has a date on it. Nope. I think I put this in like the, the art contest or the art fair or whatever. And like I said, dragons on everything. I made this like amazing sunset, but fuck it, put dragons on it. Oh dear God. All right, this one is from I don't know what year, but it was supposed to be a Pablo Picasso study. <sighs> guys, this was when I was young, so no judge, but straight up, this guy looks like he has a penis. Like, I think that was supposed to be an arm, <laughs> but it doesn't look like an arm anymore. <laughs> All right, I think we'll pull out, let's check out one more. This one looks like it was in chalk. Monster mime, oh my God, it's like, it, I guess it mimes other monsters. And it was supposed to be a study on uh, Marc Chagall. I don't know what you are, but you're kind of cool. So it's like this like weird chalk monster thing. So yeah, I had a thing for monsters and dragons even back then, as you can see through all of my artwork, like Jesus, so many monsters. So this is gonna be tough. I need to pick one of these to redraw. I'm kind of like a monster mime, like, he might be a little cool. I don't know if I would use as many colors. Maybe the 30, no, he's too easy. Let's go, let's go for something intense. Like we could do this and have like the full background to show how much better I've gotten at backgrounds. Yeah, all right. It's between this one and the monster mime. So I'm doing this right now live on Twitch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put these two in a straw poll and then they can help me pick which one we should do. All right, so the Twitch chat has voted and it was between the Monster Mime and the Dragons at Sunset. Oh, we got the Dragons at Sunset winning by like two votes. So now we're gonna have to draw these dragons on a magical tree background and have three of them. So that'll be fun. So just to preface, obviously this was done with like paint and 
I think crayon, maybe crayon, I'm not sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it back over to my tablet and we're gonna do a full digital painting instead since I don't really have acrylic paints and crayons. <laughs> so I'll just do a digital recreation of this and jump in and get started. So for this part of the video, I thought it would be kind of fun if we changed it up a bit. Um, I'm using the same tools and everything that I usually do, so I don't really feel I need to go into that too much. But instead, why don't we kind of walk down memory lane of this year? Because I'd have to say 2017 was a really big year for this channel. And I would love to go through it and kind of look back on where we started this year on this channel and where we are now, because a lot has changed in one year and it's crazy and amazing and when I started looking back into everything that started at the beginning of this year um, I just was blown away so let's go through and kind of go over some top fun things that happened in 2017 so first and foremost um, the end of 2016 on December 2nd I posted a 10,000 subs thank you stream announcement and I can't believe it's only been like a year and we're already up to, I don't know, what is it, 32,000 now or somewhere close to that. And it's just crazy. Like we got 20,000 new amazing people on this channel in one year. So that's already a huge milestone for this channel. And I can't thank you guys enough. Like this has been an amazing and crazy year, like learning how to do YouTube, trying to fit it into my schedule, and then having the channel grow so much so quickly was just amazing. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. You all are so awesome. And this has been an amazing year to grow with you guys. And I, I'm gonna keep gushing about this because it's just, it's really cool to have such an awesome, supportive, cool community like I got you guys here on YouTube just commenting on like all my videos. I love seeing you guys over and over and seeing your little icons and usernames. So I like recognize you by those by now. Um, and this was like chatting with you guys in the comments is so much fun. And I've been trying to keep up with that. And then over on Twitch, there's so many amazing viewers there too. We get into so many stupid shenanigans and have established like memes within the community and it's been really cool. You guys are awesome and I cannot thank you enough. So that's the big first thing from 2017. Next up, another big milestone that we finished in 2017 was the ABC challenge. That was a huge undertaking. And as of January 8th, it looks like that was the first ABC challenge of the new year and we were at I. So we weren't exactly halfway through, but we made a pretty good chunk of it in 2016. But then in 2017, we just like ran through it, nailed them all out, got a bunch of cool drawings for every single letter. And it was a really fun challenge, but you know, it's it was a huge undertaking. Like with all those different letters and all those different characters, it was cool to kind of like, add that to my docket of challenges completed because I think that was the longest challenge I've ever done except no better in March we had movie monster March now that one was a crazy challenge that one was just insane to try to keep up with and it was totally worth it um I did a I think I did two main paintings a week like big paintings on the channel of all movie monsters. And I remember I was prepping that like a month to a month and a half in advance, just because I knew these videos were gonna take so long and the paintings were gonna take a really long time. But that month like really pushed me and I grew so much in terms of painting and background painting just from that month, especially because it was just monsters that I loved. I was really passionate about the pieces and excited to do them. So then diving in and doing so many fully rendered pieces in a short amount of time was really good for like me creatively and then uh, just improving my skills. So Movie Monster March and the ABC Challenge were both things that we checked off on like really intense challenges for 2017. And of course, 2017 had a lot of amazing collaborations and a lot of fun stuff that happened on the channel. Um, first and foremost, I got to collaborate 
with a lot of my friends like Chad Stafford or Chit Chad. He's an awesome guy. We did, I think we did a collaboration on the channel in 2017 or was it 20? I don't know. I know we did uh, the random fandom. I think that was for sure 2017. I might be mixing it up, but I think that was 2017. And then we had the collaboration with Jazza, which was super fun. And I can't thank him enough for that one. That helped uh, this channel grow so much. And it was a really, really fun collaboration. I'm hoping to do another one with him in the future. And then we had um, an awesome interview with Rebecca Parham um, talking about getting into the animation industry and whatnot. And then we also had a really fun collaboration with Chaos Cortec where we did a um, kind of, I would design the creature and then he took it and 3D modeled it and his wife painted it. And that one was just a blast. I am for sure planning on doing another one just cause it's so cool to see something you draw be put into a new medium and, and like created in such a cool and awesome three-dimensional way. That, that was just such a fun, fun collaboration. And then of course, last but not least, we had a collaboration with Ian from Imp or IMP Studios. We did um, another Monster Mash collaboration where we gave each other different creatures and combined them. And that was a lot of fun. And seeing his final product was pretty dang cool. And of course, next up, how could I forget? My husband and I moved into our new house in, uh, what was that, June? Like May to June of 2017. And I set up a whole new office space and I really established a cool recording area for this channel. And that was really, really awesome to set up and get going. And along with that, I really established, I think my Patreon and my store like that I was like having to think to myself, I'm like, how can I improve this? Like, it's kind of fading. I really got to overhaul this. So I made my first art book. We opened up a t-shirt store. I have um, multiple designs on there now. It's crazy. We have a bunch of artwork for sale online. Um, I did Phoenix Comic Con again for, I think this is now my third to fourth. No, I think it's four years in a row was this year was the fourth year. Next year's fifth year. Um, and that year was amazing because there were so many of you guys that came to come see my booth and see me and that was awesome and I got a bunch of fan art and it was it was awesome. You guys are amazing. Um, so I feel 2017 was a big shift in terms of like community and really getting this channel established and kind of the community that goes along with it along with all the other artwork that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Basically, it was kind of me learning the growing pains of having a full-time job and then working with the full-time job and doing YouTube and trying to figure out how to work in Twitch streams and Patreon and all these other things and projects that I want to do and finally kind of figuring out a really good flow and work schedule for myself. There's a lot of kinks still in it, 100%. Like, I do not have this down to science yet. Um, just because I also had a shift in jobs. Um, I got a new position still in graphic design during this year. And uh, that was kind of a shift in terms of workload and scheduling. Like, it's still about the same amount of um, work time, but, you know, it's a little bit more intensive. So it was an interesting shift between the two jobs. Um, so having to learn how to deal with the new job and have this on the side and all that and kind of melding it into some happy combination was another big challenge for 2017. And I think that's one thing that I'm slowly improving on and we'll go into 2018 with kind of fresher eyes and knowing what worked and what didn't for 2017. For example, another challenge I forgot to bring up earlier was Inktober. This was the first year that I did full like videos for Inktober and literally recorded every single drawing I did and then made them into full length videos. And that in and of itself was a really intense undertaking. Like that was proof and showing to me how much I could do if I was put under I guess a certain amount of pressure and deadline, but also what I shouldn't do to keep myself healthy and sane. Because that was just really intense to like constantly be banging out these drawings and videos combined. And 
Um, it was just, it was tough. And I think the next time I'm able to do something like that big of an undertaking, it would probably have to be if I did art full time. Because yes, I could do Inktober, but the thing that was really crippling was having to sit at the desk and record it. If I was able to take it with me anywhere and maybe do it during like lunch breaks or anywhere else that I could fit it in, it probably would have been a lot easier to finish and complete within the October space, but it bled into November this year. But you know, I don't care. It was an awesome experience. I love working with traditional inks and I feel I learned a lot about myself and grew from that challenge specifically. I mean, I think basically 2017 for me was, I'm gonna call it the year of growth between growing um, as a channel and in subscribers and growing on like the Twitch platform and just growing in general in the social media space, but then also growing as an artist. Like if you compare my art from the beginning of 2017 to now, I feel like I've improved quite a bit. Um, just comparing the early paintings to like the forest spirit I did in June or any of the monster mashes, I feel like my creativity has grown a lot and same with my skill. I mean, I still have a long way to go in terms of where I want to be, but I'm going to I think I'm going to dub 2017 the year of growth because I have made really good personal headway at least for me um for this year. And I don't know what I'm going to dub 2018 yet. I'm kind of seeing like maybe the word opportunity <laughs> because I'm taking a or no, maybe risks Maybe Risk will be 2018. I don't know yet. We'll see at the end of next year what the year is gonna be dubbed. But there's so many big projects that are coming down the pipeline in 2018. And I have a really good feeling about the upcoming year just cause I'm so excited about all the projects that I'm gonna be doing. I'm so excited about continuing this channel and doing so many things with you guys and the amazing community. And I'm excited to share what I'm working on. I've been working tirelessly this year on Fox and Hound and really more so probably within the past, oh, I don't know, like three to four months, I have been just working my butt off on that. And I think it's gonna be an awesome thing to add to this channel. And I can't thank you guys enough. Like without your support, like I don't know how far I would be as an artist without you guys watching YouTube and encouraging me to continue making artwork and all that, like, I might not be at the skill level I am now because this has really pushed me to grow and change as an artist and adapt quickly and I've learned so much. So much from every single drawing, every single painting, everything I've done on this channel, I have learned and grown so much. So again, thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching this video and uh, thanks for being a part of the community. Here's to 2018. And I'll talk to you guys more here in just a minute. So we are all done with this painting and I have to say I am pretty happy with it I still kind of struggle with backgrounds and painting in general But I feel like this one was a really good step forward in learning how to paint sceneries and interesting lighting and different things So I'm pretty happy with this as an overall piece. So let's do a compare and contrast shall we original Right here amazing crayon acrylics whatever is on here. Then we have the new one. Pretty awesome compare and contrast from how many years now? So this is when I was 10, 15 year difference. 15 year difference, that's pretty crazy. So I'm pretty proud of myself. And this just shows, like I say, every single year, guys, if you are wanting to get into art and really start being an artist, just start. Like you might be at a lower skill level than what you really wanna be, but as long as you work at it and chug away and just keep on practicing, you will get better. And I'm gonna say this at the end of every single year when I do this challenge, because you can just see like, this is how I used to draw. I know I was young and I was 10, but 
I kept drawing and now I, I draw like this. It just takes a lot of practice and time. So I really encourage any artist that's watching this to keep chugging along, keep practicing, and you will get there. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you aren't already, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every week. And I hope you guys have a wonderful 2018. I can't believe 2017 is already done. And I'm really excited to kind of dive into some new artwork with you guys. And actually January is gonna be my two year YouTube anniversary. So that's pretty exciting. We've come a long way in two years. So thank you guys all so much and have a wonderful new year. Bye everybody.